Hi everybody, Exile Guy here. And but yesterday it was a beautiful fall day, and I went out, took a drive out into the country, and I found myself this really quiet, peaceful place, and took a walk off into the woods. I was kind of hoping that I'd run into a deer or something, because I like to talk to the deer, and they seem to like to listen. But <laughs> that's something else. So I was walking through the woods there, and it was so peaceful, and everything was so nice and so warm and snuggly, if you know what I mean. And I was having just a, a lovely time, and, and I started thinking, it's so peaceful and nice here, and doesn't seem to be any evil. And then I thought, wow, there's so much evil in the world, and there are places that are incredibly evil. I mean, you got freaking Egypt and Libya and Afghanistan and Washington, D.C. I mean, you got these really fucking evil places and then you have places like I was in that was just freaking gorgeous and I thought gosh is there enough evil to go around now think about it nothing ever happens to human beings as far as advancements in civilization and society that doesn't come from evil without evil there's no advancement let me give you an example I had a friend who was an attorney who was a Japanese man he was a good friend of mine and he was actually from Japan and he was working in this country and he was a collector of spinning reels and if you're a fisherman you know what I'm talking about and he collected really nice antique wooden spinning reels and some of these were like hand cranked monsters I mean they were amazing but it was just you know the, the intricacy was very cool but they were like you know enormous and you know crazy and he, and he showed me this picture of a Chinese man sitting in his boat on a lake you know, an old, old painting, and fishing, the spinning reel in his hand looked like the crank on a crossbow. And we talked about it and came to the conclusion that all advances in science and industry first come from the military. If the military doesn't need it, nobody's going to make it. You don't have a computer because computers are suddenly magically invented for the people. You have a computer because the military and the government needed a computer. You have them because they needed them and somebody found a way to make it reasonably affordable for you to own one. Same thing with the spinning reel coming from a crossbow. If we didn't need to be prepared to nuke the whole fucking world, you wouldn't have your fucking iPod, you crazy motherfucker. So there's evil, and evil is kind of a necessary thing. How else would you appreciate when things are nice? You'd have to have a certain amount of motherfucking evil, and I'm just concerned that there's not enough evil to go around for everybody to experience their fair share. All right? That's where I'm coming from. And I'm hoping maybe you can help me with that. Maybe you can fill me in on how to get more evil out into the world. I mean, I do the best I can, and I'm running for motherfucking office, and I'm promising you all the evil I can give you, but fuck, is it enough? I don't know. What do you need? You gotta tell me what you need. What do you need? How short on evil are you? Is there enough evil to go around? I'm Exile Guy, and I endorse this message.